While radiant warmers can be life-saving, they can also be very dangerous for babies if they are not set up and used properly. Ideally, the radiant warmer should be used for only one baby at a time, with a temperature probe dedicated for that baby. Sharing a radiant warmer and probe poses a risk that one of the babies will be at the wrong temperature, as well as a risk of infection. If you do have to use the warmer for more than one baby, then there must be constant monitoring. You can use a temperature probe as a thermometer to take the temperature of the babies, or you can use a thermometer. Ideally, the warmer should always be in servo mode when warming a single baby. If you have to warm more than one baby, it is best to have it in manual. A baby's temperature needs to be monitored five minutes after starting on the radiant warmer, and then four hourly if the warmer is in servo mode and every 30 minutes if the warmer is in manual mode. When you are monitoring, make sure that the probe is still in place. If the probe falls off or is badly placed, then the readings received by the machine will not be accurate, which can be dangerous. Typically what happens if the probe falls off is that the probe temperature will be lower than the target temperature meaning the machine will try to heat the baby up more and more. The baby can easily overheat and get dehydrated or even have convulsions. The alarms on the machines are there to help you monitor the baby's temperature and warn you if something is wrong. On the Phoenix Radiant Warmer, the alarm makes the same noise, whatever the problem, but will come up with a different message. First of all, if the probe is not connected or working, that will set the alarm off with the abbreviation PRB for probe failure. If there is a mains power cut, the alarm will also go off. If the baby's temperature goes too high or too low while in manual mode, then the alarm will go off with the abbreviation ALR for manual mode alert. In servo mode, if the temperature is too high, you will get the message ORT, or over temperature. If this happens, you need to investigate why. Is the probe properly attached to the baby? Or is the baby too hot? There is a button to mute the alarm. You may need to use this sometimes while you are setting the machine up and the probe is not yet in place. There is a list of abbreviations used for different alarms attached to the machine. The machine will warn when the battery is low or there is some other technical problem causing a system failure, in which case you need to contact the maintenance department. On the Wallaby warmer, the temperature alarms are color-coded. Green tells you that the baby is close to the target temperature. But as soon as the temperature goes above the safe range, then the alarm will sound and the reading will flash red. If on the other hand, the baby gets too cold, then the alarm will flash blue. If the probe gets disconnected, then the alarm will go off and the temperature reading will disappear. Finally, if there is a power cut, this symbol will be shown. And if there is some other technical fault or system failure, then it will say E1. If you see this, then you need to contact the maintenance department.